thank you. And I call Jim Allister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This report was a whitewash, and it was never intended to be otherwise. And anyone who listened this morning to the interview of Mr. Parr on the Nolan Show could have no doubt about that. Here was a man under interview who said some amazing things. And of course, the starting point of what's amazing is the primary conclusion that Sinn Féin might was more important on the day than the COVID regulations, that they were not just secondary, but a very distant third to the thought that um, might was right and might would prevail. And when you heard this morning Mr Parr saying effectively that matters were abdicated to an IRA events company whose name he wouldn't give, he wouldn't say whether or not it was licensed. Indeed, he may never have inquired. And when you hear that a gold commander ordered that a helicopter should not oversee the wake event where hundreds of people were gathered, and when you hear that the video cameras were so far back that the footage was useless, then the conclusion is inescapable that the streets of West Belfast were deliberately, consciously surrendered on the day of the story funeral. And the contrast is not with what would have happened with a loyalist funeral. The contrast is what did happen with the funerals of ordinary folk who were deprived of the basic rights that attend a funeral and who were, were required to obey. But when it came to Sinn Féin, they called the shots. There might not have been any shots over the coffin on that occasion, but there certainly were shots called by Sinn Féin. And we had the despicable scene of our compliant chief constable toadying to all of that. And what he did in that day is something which is incapable, in my book, of ever restoring confidence in him. And then we discover. Bring remarks to a close, Mr. Then we discover the rules were changed by the executive the night before. That's another story. Mr. Alistair, bring your remarks to a close, please. Thank you very much. Thank you for that. And I call Paula Bradshaw. Excuse me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you to Mr. Story for bringing the matter of the day. Um, it is the responsibility.